welcome back to the channel so today's video is going to be the complete uh, advanced movement guide for bo6 and bo6 warzone as you all know movement system is way different you can we have omnidirectional movement you can basically go you can sprint dive and slide in any direction like back forth left right uh, you can even go diagonally um, so I'm going to show you in this guide today on how to use Omni movement correctly, what to do and what to not to do. Um, skating, which is like a big thing. A lot of people have been asking it. Um, how to dive. Since uh, a recent patch, they made diving and getting out of the prone animation way, way faster than it's ever been. So without further ado, I'm just going to show some intro clips of what omni movement is capable of both in warzone and some theater mode clips from bo6 i'll be right back to show you how to do everything I hope you enjoy that little small intro. So to get off, to get all the, the basics down. So Omni movement on controller, they it's a bit different than keyboard and mouse since I'm on keyboard and mouse. On controller, since you have like an analog input and not like a key input, your tactical sprint might have a small, I don't know, like th I think they fixed it, but Regardless, when I press W or S, my tactical sprint, uh, since I have tactical, of course, like I'm going to go through all my settings at the end of the video. I'm going to have a segment with all the settings for uh, Omni movement and everything you need. I just want to get get all the movements out of the way and show you how to do them. Um, so you just need tactical sprint assist to zero always. And on controller sometimes you have like a little bit of a delay maybe I don't know if they fix it. I feel like if they don't fix it, it's never gonna be as like instant as keyboard and mouse. You're gonna have like a small delay where your gun is not up. But apparently they have improved it. So without further ado, so it's omnidirectional, right? Say for example I wanna go I'm gonna to the right. I just I don't need to like turn my camera like the old games and press W. I just hold my a or d or my analog if you're like an analog you hold right left right left or backwards and that's pretty straightforward that's tactical sprinting um sliding you slide forwards if you slide forwards you press backwards you slide again same to the side same pretty simple straightforward same with diving dive to the right dive to the left dive backwards and so forth so how to take advantage of these movements is the most important thing because those are like basic movements you can do but you can chain some crazy stuff so i'm gonna go over everything that keyboard mouse and controller can do before i go into like the more niche like skating even though skating is possible on controller i will link you uh, where you can like find a guide for that since I, i'm not I'm not a controller player um so sliding for example like how can you use slide canceling with omni movement say for example i want to go in this building and i want to go right back out i don't need to do this i can go in hold w and slide back out same with a and d say i want to peek quick i do it with a and d like left right same with diving for example if i if i'm on this ledge and in previous games, I had to turn around and dive. Like here, I had to turn around and dive. But if I'm facing somebody from that door, if somebody's shooting me, I can just dive backwards and instantly go to cover. And still shoot, by the way. This game, you can shoot while diving and sliding. So if somebody's like telling me, I can do that. Um, those are like the very basics that 
you can't you just need to get accustomed to like omni movement especially on keyboard and mouse like control it's very easy because the analog stick is just very easy but for all my keyboard and mouse people that are struggling you need to make it in your mind that you need to let off w like previous games unfortunately like have all taught us previous cards have taught us to just hold down w and just turn around our camera but this this game's embraces us to like leave let off w and hold other other keys it's like, if you get that subconscious feeling of letting like, letting w off and holding other directional you will understand like the philosophy of how good omni movement is on especially on keyboard and mouse um that's like the basics so now what you can do with omni movement um i know b hop like in old older games you could just aim in and and jump but this you, you just you have no momentum like lateral momentum is, is just not existent i don't know why they refuse to do it but that's a story for a different time but there's something in this game uh if anybody played bo3 or bo4 it's kind of similar to g sliding but it's not g sliding it's, ne it's never going to be the same as g sliding because it, it had we had thrusters and etc but what you can do if you find a ledge if you jump and time your slide on this whatever surface you're you're jumping on you'll boost off of it so for example i want to boost off the bottom of the car i just i can do that um also if you hold slide you keep sliding that's not nothing crazy but it's just something it's good to know of oh yeah that this is ledge sliding you jump up slide and you just slide off the surface you can do this on any surface by the way like whatever is at jump height you can just jump and slide on it it's it's very simple and you can do it on all like uh, direction you can do it like backwards as well um something else with ledge sliding you can make there's a, a movement that's similar to bunny hopping which i i said that it's not in this game but if you ledge slide in you can chain the ledge slide basically to a bunny hop like if you ledge slide and jump you bunny hop i, I will show povs of how this looks so y'all understand how like actually good this is if you learn how to like time it you can be hop very nice but you can chain more than one by the way like, this is just a one one time movement but if you ledge slide you can b hop you keep the momentum basically laterally but that's the only b hop you can do on this game but uh, it's good to know this is a very good child for example like if somebody's there and you want and you know that you have info that they're there instead of just ledge sliding you can ledge slide to a b hop and push them like it just to gun them they will never expect you to come in like flying jumping they're just you're gonna cut them off guard like a hundred percent uh next uh like i said with diving you can dive and you can get up very way way faster than you used to like in mw2 mw3 and this game prior to this patch you can get up way faster the same with prone if you're prone you can get like you can even like sprint and like slide instantly if you dive you can slide it's it's super good i don't know how it is on controller right now i haven't tested it at all but on keyboard and mouse if you're prone see for example like you drop shot at somebody you can get up instantly and slide backwards you just need the hold w uh, hold s like hold backwards tactile sprint and slide and you get up instantly and slide now i'm gonna go to skating because skating is a huge thing in this game uh if anybody again played bo3 bo4 you know what sliding is oh uh, not sliding skating my bad uh skating especially on those games was, was very it was hard but it was like such a good mechanic that if you master you could like actually break somebody's ankles especially on the lower fov back in console because now it's like 120 you can see more but back when if it's 80 if somebody's just on 80 fov it's everything is way, way zoomed in so like it's harder to track somebody you get caught off guard like way easier but again if somebody 
For example, skating, I want to peek this and go in like fast back. I can just go right. The same with backwards. Instead of holding S and then doing it, I can do it instantly in all directions, by the way. Like if I hold my knife since I have uh, unlimited attack sprint, I can just slide infinitely. You have fatigue. Of course you have fatigue. Because if it didn't have fatigue, this would be just the, the most broken. You could just be sliding around the map like infinitely. But you can chain at least two good slides with momentum. Plus, like if you have War Cry, you can like do it more times. And you can shoot, by the way, like all this. You can shoot the whole duration of the slides. So how you do it? How I do it, a lot of people, like, whatever stops your momentum, basically. So, in this game, if I slide, if I don't press anything, it's going to keep sliding. But, if I press space, for example, it will stop me. Uh, if I press tactical spin, it stops me. Anything that stops your, your movement basically makes you able to hit your slide button again. How I do it, I go to my settings. I have, first of all, on keyboard and mouse, again, for your controller, I'm going to tell you wh where you can find on Twitter, like, more detailed guides. But this, on, on your keyboard and mouse, I have, you need to go to your movement advanced settings, because crouch slide, you just, you, you still need it for crouching, but not sliding. Do not slide with your crouch button. Never. You have to have an individual slide button. So how I do it, I have shift because I, I just like shift and I have tactical sprint on my con my left control and my mouse button, but I don't use my mouse button that much. Um, so how I do it is I basically slide, hit tactical sprint and slide again. It's cause I stop my, my movement because if I stop my movement, I can slide again. So if you do it in quick, su quick succession, you can see that your character has that weird animation. That's all it is. It's nothing crazy. On keyboard and mouse, it's such a good mechanic. It's so easy to master that you can do some crazy stuff. Say, for example, you want to peek this and then you can peek backwards. You can do so much stuff. Like, it's actually insane. Look how fast I am. I'm like crossing away this building. If you have momentum, like I said, if you had like Warcry or Stims and Warzone. Stims and Warzone, especially prior to the, the nerf, were insane. I will throw some clips of how like it looks in Warzone. But it was just insane. The more momentum you have, the more speed, the more you can like skate. Um other than that, uh there's really mantling on this game is not as good as uh MW3, unfortunately, because we don't have climbing boots by default on Warzone. I would avoid by like any means if you're in a fight, never like mantle because it just takes forever to mantle. Like if you want to mantle a car, see how long that takes. You're getting killed even with Warzone TTK. Like let alone like multiplayer, you're getting gunned instantly. So try and avoid mantling only like small surfaces. Diving is now viable. Like I said, proning is that like if you're like going supine you see this animation this animation makes your character basically go prone but you can still like shoot and everything and plus the tactical sprinting that procs instantly makes it so much better you can get out of prone way easier also something else is Whoever's been on this channel or my Twitter knows what I call turban hopping, but basically like canceling your dive is still in this game, of course. You just run up to a surface. If you run up to a surface and you dive, you're standing up instead of just diving and being in the prone position. Um, with this, even if you don't 
hit a, a T hop, a turban hop, you can still get up very, very like fast from proning. So, but it just looks way, it's, you just prime your gun and everything so much faster. And that's why I always are trying, even though on this game, the timing and the, the window to hit a turban hop, like a dolphin dive, uh, cancel, it's way, it's, it's, it's finicky. It's not the same as MW3. MW3, it was so easy to hit. But, like, here you just need to know where your dive is going to land. If you know where your dive is going to land, you can instantly stop dolphin diving whenever you want. Uh, that's pretty much it for the, the movement guide. Uh, make sure that you stay for all the settings. Uh, recap everything that you've seen. I'm gonna go over all my settings, what you need, what keybinds, what, what what things to change, and if you have any any questions, just let me know in the comments. Like always, I will be here to help. Um, if anything changes, I will probably make another guide, or I will make a short explaining like what changed. I'm gonna be very active with this card because I really like it. I like the freedom. Keyboard and mouse input feels like super nice. Um, other than that. Uh, thanks for watching, uh, enjoy, and peace.